thought about how other people influence your everyday life. I mean, how can they actually affect your life? Well, there are three main ways to influence someone else's life. Through time, encouragement, and presence. For each of these categories, I have a positive and a negative example based on my own experiences. Time. Offering people your time is a wonderful way to positively impact them. Around four years ago, two of my friends and I decided to spend the day with a poor girl that was only living with her father and sisters. It was winter, so we took the girl to the Christmas market. We talked for a long time that day and found out a lot about the girl and her family. It was really interesting to hear about someone else's perspective on life, to offer them our advice, someone that didn't have the possibilities we had. After a couple of weeks, we were really happy to hear that the girl's marks have actually increased and that she actually made some new friends. However, there are some people that are just trying to waste your time. For instance, if you want to help them, they won't probably even listen to you or take in consideration any of your suggestions. Encouragement. I'm sure I have positively affected my friends' lives at least once, just by telling them that they look nice that day, and I'm sure everyone has. But in this situation, I have an example from a history teacher, a family friend. She had a kid in her class that has never got a 10 in his entire life. He hated school and didn't learn anything because of it. One kid, one day, the kid had a test in history. The teacher gave him a 10, even though he didn't deserve it. But the kid was so happy that he got a 10 that he started learning and soon, History became his favorite subject. Still, this kid's life could have been drastically negatively affected by bullies through taunting, fighting, or swearing, a topic which is talked about a lot these days. Presence. Last but not least, another wonderful way to positively impact your friends is through presence. A couple of years ago, around Christmas, two of my colleagues and I made some cards and sold them. With the money, we bought food and clothes for a poor family from a city near Sibiu. The family had six children and their mother died. But the happiness we saw in their faces when they received our gifts was everything we needed after days of hard work. On the other hand, there are some people that don't appreciate presents as much as they should. Namely, spoiled children. Kids who are so spoiled that if they don't receive exactly the present they want, they're probably going to have a heart attack. At the end of the day, we are all people and make mistakes. What we can do is learn from them and try to become better people. I'm sure, about, I'm sure most of us are most likely unconsciously influencing our friends' lives, but we can at least try to make them feel better just by complimenting them about their hair or try to offer them our time and help if they're going through a rough time. Before I leave this stage and some of you will probably not remember everything I said here today. I want you to ask yourself a few questions. How do you influence your friends' lives? How much time do we offer them? How many times have you complimented them today? And how many presents have you offered them in the past month?